Okay, here we're going to use our constant of proportionality with the chart uh, to solve the questions in the word problem. The graph shown below is a conversion chart used to convert US dollars to British pounds in a bank on a particular day. Use the chart to determine the number of pounds you could buy for $600, the number of dollars it would cost to buy 200 pounds, and the exchange rate in pounds per dollar. So starting with A, all we have to do to solve this one is look on the graph. We can see that the number of pounds we could buy for $600 would be listed right here by going across to $600 and then just going up to see where we intersect. And it looks like that intersects at about, what, 360? About 360 pounds. So the number of pounds we could buy for six hundred dollars would be about three hundred and sixty pounds I hate trying to draw this little pound symbol and never get at it, there we go three hundred and sixty pounds for six hundred dollars okay and then for B we just go the other way for B we know that we're looking for the number of dollars we can buy with two hundred pounds so here we go up to two hundred pounds and we go across to see, oh, well, that was not a very straight line. We go across to see where it intersects with the, the uh, US dollars. And it looks like it goes about here. So about 325, 330. So we're going to say that you can buy $330 for 200 pounds. Okay, and then for C, we need to recognize that this is a constant of proportionality problem. It goes through zero, and we know that it's just going to be y equals some multiple of x. So to calculate what that multiple is, we let's write down our, our formula. We have y equals k times x, right? Which means if we want to find k, we need to divide both sides by x, and we'll get k equals y over x. So if we find a point on the graph where we know what the values are, like for instance right here, we have 500 and 300, we could take y over x to find our constant proportionality. So here our y value is 300 and our x value is 500. So 300 divided by 500, our zeros will cancel. So we get 3 fifths equals K.